Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and uh, we leveled up Maya's social link some more, and we got to level 3 I'm pretty sure, and we're about to get to level 4, and in this episode, I have an apology to make because yesterday was uh, May 4th, and that means that it was the birthday of Lisa Silverman from Persona 2 Innocent Sin and Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. Uh, apologies for completely forgetting about this. Uh, she's even a character from the original trilogy, meaning she had dialogue for the TV with Trisha's Who's Who. So yeah, sorry that I forgot about that. Uh, also in this episode, I want to go ahead and check... Okay, we have a Mad Bull. And... So, right now, on May 5th, or before this, you want to go ahead and make sure you have a Mad Bull, which you could get from one of the vending machines. I think it's from the vending machine in the dorm. And then you also want to go to Iwatsudai Strip Mall, and you want to talk to this lady right here and get some takoyaki. Hey, come over here, young man. My takoyaki is both delicious and cheap. Only 400, do only 400 yen. There's no octopus in it, but try some anyway. Yeah, you want to buy at least one weird takoyaki. You could go and buy as many as you want, but for what we're about to do, we're only going to need one. Thanks, come again. Anyways, we're going back to the front entrance right now. Is this going to pass time? Okay, no, thank god. I'm pretty sure in the original versions of Persona 3, it would pass time if you... It would go directly, directly to the evening if you left and then walked right back in. Uh, which sucks, but thankfully in this remake, we don't have to worry about that. I guess Junpei and Takeba are out doing doing stuff, so let's log back on to Innocent Sin Online. I'm in Shunagawa Dungeon. Maya's not logged in. I'm running a little late. I'll be I'll be I'll be right there, okay? Maya entered the area. I was on the phone with my mom. Whenever whenever we talk, it's always the same. It's like all she cares about is marrying me off to some dude. What's her problem? Uh, the best option here is let's plan our wedding then. Even without meeting me IRL? Take me, Tatsuya. Maya seems happy. Don't worry. I even... I still got it, even at my age, lol. It's sexist, though, to think women can only be happy when they're tied down. The other night, I got a little drunky and kind of passed out at Polonia. Then this old dude was like, You'll never get a man looking like that. Ugh. I told him to STF you, damn it. OTL, sorry, kind of got off topic. I guess I'm a little tired. But I do feel better now. Here, Tatsuya, this is for you. Maya used a heal potion on Tatsuya, but there's no effect. Oh, guess, guess your HP was already full, Lamaonade. I'm trying to say thanks for listening to all my bitchin'. I think Maya's opening up to me. I feel like we're growing closer. You know that old lamer I told you about? He was hanging around Polonia, so if you see him, don't be nice. I saw him on this weird TV show, too. Super creepy. All right, I better go practice being a good housewife for Tatsuya. Maya's player signed off. I learned about a man from TV who, vis who visits Polonia Mall at night. I decided to log out as well. So that's something that we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for, is apparently there's some old guy who appears on TV who um, who's hanging around the mall at night. Um, so here's a package at the door from Tanaka. Looks like the product I ordered through the shopping program on TV has arrived. Let's see what's inside. Well, we already we already know what's inside, but I guess it's good to check that you're not getting scammed. Yo, what's up? Luxury chocolate. 30 SP to one ally, that's pretty good. Sonata and Kirijo aren't back yet. Guess we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. Yukatan said she's going to study in her room. Hmm, what to do, what to do. So yeah, let's check out Polonia Mall to see if we can spot the old guy that uh, Maya was talking about. Hmm. I don't seem to notice anyone anywhere. Anyways, it's a good thing that we're here because we could go ahead and uh, go to Chagall Cafe and continue working part-time. 
pretty crowded today. I have to work even more efficiently than usual. I have offered my support to a co-worker who got scolded for messing up an order. Despite being busy, I responded to complaints about the slow service with sincerity. I uh, gave a little bonus on top of your usual pay. Thanks for helping me out during peak time. So yeah, sometimes you'll get paid even more than usual if it's a particularly busy day. Come on, courage. Ah, okay. Golden week is over, I'm so sad. You know, rabbits can die from sadness. Excuse me? Okay, one, you're not a rabbit, and two, it's not sadness, but a loss of appetite. Huh? What? No way, I thought it was- I thought for sure it was because of heartbreak. Uh, speaking of sad, I saw an elementary sc school kid at Naganaki Shrine the last time I visited. She looks so sad playing all by herself. I felt sorry for her. An elementary school student is alone at Naganaki Shrine. I wonder if she's having some sort of trouble. Uh, I don't really feel like teaching today. Last night I was watching TV when I saw a special on trains. Traveling by train is always nice, isn't it? Staying in a sleeper car is a traveler's dream. Speaking of trains, let's talk about the rhombus-shaped instrument on the roof of the train. Power is generated when this device comes into contact with the overhead wires. You look like you know what I'm talking about, Yuki. Let's see if that's the case. What do you call the device that helps generate electric power for the train? A pantograph. Yes, that's right. That's right. You, you're better informed than I thought. Or perhaps you're simply a rail fan? Most modern trains take in electricity by bringing the pantograph into contact with the overhead wires. However, the monorail we use has the pantograph hidden under the train instead. Apparently there's a lonely little girl at the shrine. Maybe I should check up on her and see if she's okay. It sucks trying to make new friends when you transfer. You don't remember everyone's name and you can't really say no to their offers. Dude, there's some seriously hot chicks at this school. Which is great, but it also makes it harder to approach them. If there's a girl you want to date, you gotta be smart on how you talk to her. <laughs> what was that noise? Goodbye, Golden Week. Hello, school. Bummer, huh? Totally. Man, how, how many days are left until summer vacation? That's something that I feel like a lot of people are feeling right now in real life, because this, this is being uploaded in uh, sometime in April, so yeah, I'm sure a lot of you at home are feeling that. I heard Sonata-senpai was hospitalized. I hope he's okay. I wonder if he got hurt d during boxing practice. I bet he got in a fight, some real fisticuffs. I wish I could, could have seen it. I love watching martial arts. Alright, we could be hanging out with Yuko right now. Actually, Yuko is an option right now, so let's keep her in mind, but also, uh, we have the child over here that's being talked about. What do you have to say? Hello there. My, my, you look like a pleasant youngin. What are you doing at a shrine, though? You don't look like the prayerful type. Me? Well, I've come a long way to pray to God here. He's a strong one. The offertory box and written... The offertory box and the written fortunes both bring great blessings. Then there's Inari-san by the Red Gates. Whoa, some crazy things might happen if you pray to him. But you have to pray for a long time. It's no problem for me, but some people might be too busy. So there actually is some stuff you could gain from praying here or by getting a fortune or stuff like that. Uh, but I don't really uh, do that. I usually like to do my uh, social stats at night. If we ever don't have anything to do during the day, though, then I'll go ahead and check this out. Hi, I'm Maiko. Mom and Dad said not to talk to bad people. Are you a bad person? No, I'm good. Really? You're not lying, are you? I can't play right now because I'm hungry. There's something I really want. I want to eat something round and hot and soft, too. So you remember how I told you to get the uh, takoyaki and the mad bowl? This is what it's used for. Ooh, this is my favorite. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maiko took my weird takoyaki. That was so yummy, I ate the whole thing all by myself. But now I'm thirsty. I want something fizzy. That one mad and bitter drink is the best. Ooh, this is my favorite. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, nothing beats a nice cold one. You're nice. Will you be my friend? Come play with me again, okay? Of course. Make sure you say of course because I think some of the other dialogue options can lock you out of... Can lock you out of getting this social link. Really? Then I'll be waiting for you here. Better not be lying. 
so we can't actually initiate the social link just yet, but we will be sure to come back here later. Anyways, I want to go ahead and hang out with Yuko today, so I'm gonna head over to the Velvet Room and see what we can fuse. So normally I would try to fuse a new Persona here, uh, because I'm low on money right now, but since we're getting stuff for the Strength Arcana, which has uh, some higher level Personas, we'll just get the one we already have here. Like right here, level 15, and uh, Makoto Yuki is only level 10 right now, so... We will have to spend almost 4,000 yen, but you know what, it's worth it. We're gonna make that money back soon, so it's fine. Hello, since there's no practice today, do you want to hang out again? I want to know how you're doing, too. Aren't I the perfect team manager? I'll be at the second floor hallway for a while. Oh, hey, Yuki-kun. There's no practice today, so it's the perfect time to relax. If you're leaving, want to hang out? Cool. Hmm, where should we go, then? Should we get something to eat? Or maybe do some karaoke? Let's decide on the way out. There was this one time I left some tissues in the pocket of my running pants, and then I washed it without realizing. Oh boy, did that make a mess. Oh, can you hang on a sec while I put my shoes on? Not again. It's the same stupid prank every time. Talk about unoriginal. There's a piece of gum on Yuko's locker. Oh, at least my shoes are safe. Going that far would have been crossing the line. Do you know who did it? I have my suspicions, but I don't plan to confront her. I was pissed off at first, but eventually I just got used to it. Getting worked up about this would just tire me out. It's not worth it. But if I catch her in the act, I am fully prepared to grab her and teach her a lesson. Uh, that was a joke, okay? I'm a nice girl, really. Come on, let's go. So I figured this might be a good time to update our team uniform. What do you think of switching to running tights? They say it reduces wind resistance. Hey, look over there. It's Nishiwaki-san. Is that your new boyfriend? On to the next one already, I see. <sighs> Impressive, Nishiwaki-san. We're not dating. He's just a friend from the team. Come on. No need to act all polite in front of him. Just tell it how it is. I'm surprised you could even get such a handsome guy. Maybe I should become a team manager too. You've got it all wrong, as usual. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll just be running around after everyone all day. And it's not very attractive for a girl to be so muscular, you know? <laughs> not so loud. Her boyfriend's like right here. I kind of feel bad for her. That's really what you want to do. I won't stop you. But you're better off looking for a boyfriend elsewhere. A manager is a busy job. You won't have time to go around sticking gum on people's shoe lockers. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that means. Of course not. It was just a random example. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? Not at all. Hey, uh, let's just go already. Sorry you got dragged into that. Best option to say here is, don't worry about it. No, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Sorry. Oh, I should probably fill you in, or you get the wrong idea about me. Let's go sit down. That girl in the black tights, we went to the same middle school. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But, turns out, he was seeing her at the same time. When she found out, she said I stole her boyfriend. Even though I was a victim, too. She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Isn't that just ridiculous? And after I became the track team manager here in high school, that set her off on me again. But really, all I want to do is support others so they can be the best they can be. Remember the gum on my locker? That was probably her doing. She's definitely the type to hold a grudge. 
Oh, those girls have way too much time on their hands. All they do is complain and gossip. Why don't they do something more productive? They're the ones who should get a lecture from Akoda. You're not putting enough thought into your future. Tell that to them, not me. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry for what they said about you. They called you my boyfriend. Must have made you feel awkward, huh? Best option here is to say, I'm honored. Uh, hey, you! How can you say that with a straight face? And how many other girls have you used that line on, huh? When it comes to relationships, you should never play with a woman's emotions. Oh, right. Make sure you don't tell Kaz or anyone else about the two-timing thing, okay? You're the only one I've told. Oh, also, I broke up with that two-timing jerk a long time ago. Just so you know, uh, you, you might be thinking, so what, right? Yeah, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Yuko seems flustered for some reason. I feel like our relationship has grown. Wow, that dragged on. It's late. We should be getting home. I'll see you soon. Oh hey, welcome back. Have have met have more people been getting apathy syndrome lately or am I just imagining things? For some reason I feel like something bad is going to happen, but maybe I'm just being paranoid. I mean, it's not like anything's really happened since that one day, so we should be fine, right? Uh, you say that, but we're getting ever closer to that full moon, so we'll just have to see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on with our social life, and we're actually going to get to see a new social link in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!